The oh! price is $1,495 per month. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. What? For one person? What? to my channel, Petz. So today we're going to be comparing the cost of expenses between different countries. Petch is going to provide some examples of the cost of living, I guess, in Thailand, and I'm going to do the same for the United States. Um, we're going to take turns guessing the value of each other's different items, just, just as our own sort of uh, way of exemplifying our perspective versus reality, um, and then we will reveal the actual price after Petch has finished mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a one-bedroom apartment located in a small town with uh, a new kitchen and granite counters, all new appliances, assigned parking spot, which means you have your own parking spot, you don't have to worry about trying to find parking, uh, trash dumpster on site and all utilities included. That is a big one. I think the USA price should be like multiplied by three from okay. Thai baht. <laughs> <laughs> so. We'll see. <laughs> um, US rent prices are known to be exceptionally high, so it might be even more than three. Who knows? Mm, okay, I guess. It might be around 822 US dollar. Okay. The actual oh! price is $1,495 per month. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty regular apartment cost. Um my girlfriend and I are moving into an apartment soon. It's similarly priced. I know you were asking me how much it costs per month. I didn't want to spoil the <laughs> spoil the reaction for your viewers. <laughs> Every time foreigners see like what we consider a very normal rent price, they always have a reaction like that. <laughs> okay, this one is not located in the city center, but it's still in mm -hmm. Bangkok. It has like one bedroom, one bathroom uh, with furniture. They have like public space. I'm not sure if we call it this. Like swimming pool, fitness, including parking lot. Um, you guys include the furniture. We do not do that, <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, I, I guess I should have mentioned that when we did mine, but uh, when you buy an apartment, it's it's completely empty. Like there'll be like a fridge, maybe a microwave, an oven, but you bring your own couch, you bring your own bed, you bring all of your own furniture. So that's that's funny. Um, is it is it normally like that? Yeah, like you, it's really uh, normal. <laughs> that is not normal here. <laughs> yeah, we, we just pay five times as much and then you have to buy all of your own furniture. Um, I'm gonna say it's probably around 6,000 baht per month. <laughs> no, it's too no? cheap. Really? Okay, so that I have like a totally different perception. Maybe because it's in like, um, did you say it was in Bangkok? Yeah. Okay. Here we have a New York City one bedroom apartment with Wait, I have to scroll down. Air conditioning, water, sewer, trash removal, Wi-Fi internet, pool, laundry, gym, heat. <laughs> it's, it's most of the uh, utilities are included. All of the furniture that you're seeing is not included. Really? Um, you have to buy yeah, yeah, by your own? Yeah, yeah. So they show you the picture so that you can kind of imagine like, oh, wow, that looks really nice. And then you show up and it's just totally empty. You have to buy all of it yourself. Okay. I'm going to guess it's... I'm excited. <sighs> 4,700 US dollar. That's pretty close. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you, you overshot it a little bit, but it's actually 4,300. <gasps> and that's mostly because you're in New York City. Um, being in New York City is like... Like the people that are going to live there are probably pretty, pretty well off doing something like a really good job or maybe they're a celebrity or something. Yeah. Okay, let's see my expensive condo. Okay, it's luxury condo in Bangkok. It has like three big bedrooms. Oh, wow. Three, three big bedrooms, also one maid's room. 
four bathrooms, mm. which is three bathrooms in the bedroom, one makeup room, and also including one inmate's room. So it is five bathrooms in total. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm gonna say. 95,000 baht per month. It's too cheap, dude. Too cheap. Here you go. Oh, wow. That's like double what I guessed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Moving on to food. We have a small vegetable pizza. Uh, I think it's around 16 US dollar. That's fair. The different sizes of pizza, if you got like a medium or a large, it would probably be around that much. Um, but this is just for one person, so it's a little bit smaller. So the cost is 400 baht, which I'm going to send you, or 12.50. Oh, I was going to guess 400 baht, <laughs> but I think it's US, so I passed 100. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about the pad thai <laughs> okay yeah i don't know i don't know what to describe but you it has everything you can see in the picture <laughs> <laughs> so i have to guess two prices right restaurant versus street food yeah i think when we got it because we got pad thai in like some kind of street market or something wasn't it like 50 baht or something i don't know i think it was like super cheap i would honestly not be surprised if it was like 30 to 60 baht and then in a restaurant i would guess Maybe like 190. I'm gonna go with 190. Wow, you're correct. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> because this one has shim, so it's 60 baht. But if it has no shim, only pork, something like that, it would be like 1.2 US dollar. And the one in the mall, actually, I think it's different in different restaurants. I, I think some place would be like 100. 92 mm. Okay, cool Moving on to my pad thai, right? Yeah, I really want to know <laughs> Yeah, so we have a Pad thai uh, in Thai and pad thai in US And you have this perception mm -hmm. that since pad thai is like um, a foreign dish It should yeah. cost more or something Yeah, because in Thailand, if it's foreign food it would be like more expensive than yeah. Thai food. So I'm not sure if What's your you guess? are like us. <laughs> yeah, since the Pad Thai is foreign food, it might be more expensive than the pizza one. It might be $19. Yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's cheaper than the pizza I sent you. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the actual price is $11, and the reason being, um, and I know we kind of talked about this and, and you're, you're really just doing this for the video, but um, so the US is a really diverse country. We obviously have people from all over the place. Um, there's all sorts of different types of food, especially in my area, we, like we see so many different types of restaurants. So whether it's Thai food, Mexican food, Italian food, whatever it is. These are just reasonable prices for any type of dinner, I guess. I feel like I have to pay 350 baht for one pad thai in the USA. I can't get it in the like a rooftop pad thai mm. <laughs> with a nice yeah. view out there. Yeah. Well, every time I tell, I tell somebody that that's how much we pay for pad thai over here, if they're from Thailand, they're like, oh, you should just make it yourself. It's not hard. <laughs> and then they just try to get me to like make pad thai in my house. Oh, I want to know, it's, it's, more sh it's cheaper to cook by yourself in US, Yeah, right? just about anything. Um, the only part that's kind of annoying if you do that is that then you have all the ingredients. So unless you plan on making it like mm -hmm. a lot, it might be a waste of money, but yeah. Um, it's buffet, one hour, 30 minutes. You can eat in the restaurant. They have like mm. so many kind of food, like sushi, salmon, wagyu meat, seafood. I'm gonna say maybe, th this might be too low. I was gonna do something too high, but I'm worried it's too low. I don't know, 320 baht? <laughs> it's too cheap. That is too like cheap. Seafood, salmon is 900 baht 900 
Wait, 900? What? For one person? What? Yeah, because it include meat. Like, I mean beef and salmon. Yeah. It's always existing. Yeah, I guess. And you can eat like as much as you want, right? You don't have to... You can eat like until you're finished, right? No, huh. no, 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 not until we finish. We only have like one hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> it's timed. Wait, like if you didn't finish your meal, um, you just have to leave? If you haven't finished, you can pay more to like continue the time. <laughs> oh, come on. That's crazy. Okay, so the first one is a Korean brand makeup, Innisfree. Probably very familiar to the Thai audience. I'm not sure how well known they are in the USA. Um, mm -hmm. But it is one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters and sold directly by the Innisfree website. So it's not being sold by a third party distributor that needs to make um, profit on top of the original cost. It's just directly from Innisfree. Uh, okay, I'm going to guess it's $19? Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. It was originally $20 and it was on sale for $16. Oh, wow. Yeah. The next one I have is an American brand uh, called Milk. It's actually the foundation I'm wearing right now. Uh, and that's the reason I wanted to use it. <laughs> um, it is the same size. It's an American brand and it is sold through a third party website. So they have it in stores too, but it's being sold by a company that sells makeup for a lot of brands. Um, I think it's around $16. Hmm, I wish. <laughs> So this one's $40, uh, but a lot of brands that are American made, I don't know if it's made in America, but a lot of American brands uh, will sometimes be expensive because they're American and American brands, if, if it's made in America or if it's made in like really great places or something, it might cost more or something. This is a pretty normal price for a um, foundation from America. You know, for the first time, I saw the, the picture of this milk band. I thought it mm. was condensed milk. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's like tan. <laughs> okay. For mine, it's Thai brand called Cute Prey. Yep. Uh, it looks like it's like Barbie makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna say maybe, maybe around 200 baht. Close. <laughs> Close, yeah. Is it more or less? It's two. It's uh, almost three hundred baht. Oh. It can be like two hundred baht for different brands too. It's it's yeah. kind of cheap if it is Thai brand. Okay, ค่ะทุกคนจบลงแล้วนะคะสำหรับคลิป compare เปรียบเทียบราคาระหว่างของที่ไทยแล้วก็ที่ USA อเมริกานั่นเองนะคะก็เอาจริงนะก็เป็นราคาที่เอาจริงก็คิดว่าประมาณนี้แหละยังไงเขาต้องบวกขึ้นไปเยอะเลยเพราะว่าเหมือนกับว่าค่าแรงที่เขาได้เนี่ยมันก็เยอะกว่าเราใช่ไหมของมันก็ต้องแพงกว่าอะไรประมาณนั้นนะคะทุกคนก็หวังว่าทุกคนจะชอบกันนะคะถ้าเกิดอยากจะให้เรามาคอมเพลหรือว่าเปรียบเทียบราคาอะไรกับอะไรอีกคอมเมนต์บอกกันได้อยากจะดูคอนเทนต์แบบไหนนะคะก็คอมเมนต์บอกกันได้อีกเช่นเดียวกันนะคะแล้วก็อย่าลืมไปติดตามเรา2คนด้วยนะคะที่ไอจที่ขึ้นอยู่ตอนนี้เลยรวมถึงเพจเฟซบุ๊กด้วยนะคะรวมถึงทิกตอกและเอเวอร์ทิงโอเคค่ะฝากกดไลค์กดแชร์กดซับสไครป์กดกระดิ่งให้เพจกับสกอตด้วยนะคะเจอกันใหม่คลิปหน้าค่ะคลิปนี้ไปแล้วบ๊ายบายบาย